What is going on guys, in today's video I will show you the best weapon tier list in 40k Space Marine 2. This game has a lot of different weapons and you will get a wide variety to choose from. But the big question is, what weapons are the best and can do the highest damage possible for every single class? So I've done a bunch of testing and here are the results. So then moving over to the first S tier weapon which is the Heavy Bolt Rifle. This gun offers the perfect balance between firepower and rate of fire, allowing you to dish out a massive amount of damage at a rapid and consistent rate. Its heightened piercing, range and extra magazine capacity are also great for targeting large groups of enemies from a far distance. And overall, the heavy bolt rifle is the most versatile automatic rifle in the game. Next up we have the heavy bolter, and we will place it right in the S tier. This thing packs one huge of a mean punch. While it can be only wielded by the heavy class in multiplayer, the heavy bolter has an insane rate of fire. That only increases the more you sustain your fire rate over longer time. Its crowd control potential is second to none, and will see you melting away giant hordes of enemies in no time. Then for one of the last S tier weapons we have the plasma pistol. This is the most versatile of all the three secondary weapons available in Space Marine 2, because it deals more damage and is faster than the standard bolt pistol, with the added advantage of allowing you to charge shots for a huge damage. This gun is fantastic for a variety of situations, and can adapt to any build or playstyle. And then for the last and final S tier weapon we have the Power Sword. This is a perfectly balanced melee weapon that is effective at taking on both multiple and single targets. It has a light and heavy stance that you can switch between on the fly to cater to any situation that the game has to offer. Plus it has a cool lightning glow that just looks amazing. So then moving over to the A tier and for the first weapon we have the Instigator Bolt Carbine. This is a very viable ranged option for those who like to fight from a distance. The Instigator Bolt Carbine gives players one of the few scoped weapons in the game, allowing you to easily headshot your enemies. For a weapon with such decent range, its 3 round burst fire is also nothing to forget, as it gives the weapon a very decent fire rate to help with taking on multiple enemies at once. Then for the next 8 tier weapon we have the Melter Rifle. This is the closest thing to a shotgun that the Space Marine 2 has to offer. It is a thermal weapon that deals devastating area of effect damage to multiple targets in close proximity. It is one of the best close range weapons in the game as it can melt groups of enemies right in front of your eyes. And on top of all of that, it is also great that multiple classes can use this powerful weapon. Next up we have the Chain Sword and we will place it right in the A tier. The Chain Sword makes its glorious return from the first Space Marine game and it still retains its place as one of the best melee weapons in the game. It has great combo potential and can deal a large chunk of damage to both a single and multiple targets. It is the iconic weapon of the Ultra Mines for a reason, and I recommend it for every player to give it a try. And then for the last and final 8 tier weapon we have the Thunder Hammer. This is the most powerful melee weapon in the game, but it is also the slowest by quite a wide margin. This weapon is usually meant for multiple targets, but it will hit in slow and wide arcs, and it has a high potential of stunning those who weren't already cleaved in two. It also has a super powerful and cool lightning ability, that allows you to smash the ground in a huge and electrifying arc. Next up we have the B tier, and for the first weapon we have the Auto Bolt Rifle. This is your standard assault rifle, which does the job pretty well, and is a good starting weapon that will see you through the most encounters. There's nothing special about it, although it is reliable enough that I recommend to use it at the start of your journey. Then for the next B tier weapon we have the Bolt Rifle. This gun works slightly better than the Auto Bolt Rifle, and it has better firepower, accuracy and range, allowing you to get more versatility. However, its fire rate and ammo reserves are a lot to be desired and that's why I placed him in the lower tier. Next up we have the Bolt Carbine, and I will place it right in the B tier. So with one of the fastest fire rates in the game, the Bolt Carbine is a great choice if you're looking to get into close range skirmishes. This is the perfect spray and pray weapon that can destroy loads of enemies quickly, 
but it isn't very good for mid to long range battles. Then for the next one we have the B tier weapon called the Plasma Incinerator. Much like the Plasma Pistol, the Plasma Incinerator is a versatile weapon that can be charged up for extra damage. However, its low rate of fire and lackluster ammo capacity makes this a second choice weapon if we compare it to the better guns that we have in the S or A tier. Then for the next B tier weapon we have the Bolt Sniper Rifle. This is the best long range rifle in the game, boasting massive firepower and deadly headshot damage. It's particularly effective at picking off enemy snipers and elite enemies from a distance. However, as Space Marine 2 puts such an emphasis on throwing countless of enemies your way, so the Bolt Sniper Rifle feels far less effective for most of the battles that you will find yourself in. And this is the main reason why I rather recommend to use the Heavy Bolt Rifle. Then for one of the last B tier weapons we have the Multi Meta. This is the heavy version of the Melta Rifle that if you can believe packs even a mightier punch than its already powerful thermal counterpart. Just like the other version, the Multi Meta is great for crowd control, however you can only use it with the heavy class in the operator's mode, meaning that this weapon is much harder to get than the other similar options. Next up we have the Heavy Bolt Pistol and I will place it right in the B tier. This weapon overall wins over the standard bolt pistols, simply because it hits harder and has better range. It deals more damage and is faster than the standard pistols, with the added advantage of allowing you to charge shots for a decent amount of damage. And overall, in my opinion, this weapon is great for new players. And then for the last and final B tier weapon we have the Power Fist. This weapon is large and slow in combat, and so the player must be willing to risk the blows of his enemy before he can strike back. While aesthetically very pleasing, the Power Fist loses out to other melee weapons. But that's not to say it that it isn't good. It is actually a solid all-arounder that has nice combos and can deal decent wave damage. It just lacks a certain level of uniqueness and damage. So now let's go over to the C tier. And for the first one we have the Stalker Bolt Rifle. This is the least effective bolt rifle because of its terrible rate of fire. Despite having decent firepower, piercing and accuracy, its single shot nature makes facing off against multiple enemies a huge pain. Then for the next C tier weapon we have the last facel. While awesome on paper, this energy sniper rifle is quite disappointing. It is extremely satisfying to use and works wonders against bigger targets, but its ammo capacity is absolutely awful meaning that you will run out of shots before you can actually start doing real damage. Then for one of the last C tier weapons we have the Heavy Plasma Incinerator. This is the heavy version of the Plasma Incinerator and it is great for dealing massive amounts of damage but it has very poor fire rate. You'd be better off with one of the other plasma weapons and that's why he deserves to be placed in the C tier. Next up we have the Bolt Pistol which we will place in the C tier as well. This is a standard issue pistol that you will basically start the game with. It's not offensively bad but it's just okay. You'd be better off by using one of the other secondaries such as the heavy bolt or the plasma pistol. And then for the last and final one we have the combat knife which we will place right in the C tier. The combat knife is fun to use but it doesn't have the best utility. Its main use case is for taking out single targets quickly and he is the quickest melee weapon in the game. However, with its weak damage you will need to pull off long combo chains to use it effectively, which may not be possible when you get surrounded by enemies and that's about it. So if you enjoyed this video click like, subscribe and comment and if you are interested in more content then check out my channel and I will see you in the next one. So take it easy, peace.